Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Zoo Console Edition video. Welcome back to Eden Garden Zoological Park. In the last episode, we put down some free roaming peafowls, which just wander around the zoo interacting with the guests. In between episodes, they've already started breeding, so that is going to be something that we're going to have to deal with, because I don't want to be overrun with peafowls. But first off, I'm just admiring this cinematic camera mode. I absolutely love this feature, and when it comes to when I start spotlighting your zoos, it's going to be incredible for creating some dynamic shots. Speaking of spotlights, that is what I am predominantly known for. Not building, but showcasing everyone's amazing creations. I spotlight Planet Coaster Parks, and I will be spotlighting Planet Zoo Creations. So if you would like to have your zoo showcased on the channel, then make sure to join the Iron Matty Discord server. The link will be up above or down below right now. I've already got my first zoo lined up, which will be coming probably in about a month, give or take, but then we will be having regular Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo content on the channel. Now, today we are going to start creating a prairie dog enclosure, and I cannot wait, so let's hop in. Right, so here we are in the zoo. So before we start on today's enclosure, let's have a quick look at some of the things that I've done in between episodes. So I've tidied up all of the backstage area. You don't want to be seeing this in videos. You don't need to see me creating buildings in the backstage. Nobody cares about that. We're only here for the animals. Let's swap that camera mode so we can look a little bit easier. So the habitat now comes through here and there is the habitat gate right on the side of the building. We moved the food just over there and we've got a broken down machine. So let's get a mechanic on that. Come on, I was trying to show what I was doing. Right, let's come back over here again. And I absolutely love in Planet Zoo how we've got so many small items like them drain covers that you can use coming up there off the light switch. We've got the little plug sockets on the wall. I wish we'd had them in Planet Coaster. But as we work around the back round here, I've just raised the terrain just a little bit, put some rocks and trees in there. It's still not finished. It was just a quick thrown together just to try and hide that back invisible wall so you can't see out into the biome so i will touch that up again later on and then as we come down here all of the staff buildings are now all covered up with this big building it looks a lot better than it did again just using them little pieces just to detail we've got some guests in the park so we've got fs club is he still in the park or has he come back could he not get enough the first time has he come back to the park once again he's going to have a look at the peafowls good shout and we've also got somebody else in the park. We've got some research done. We'll have a look at that in a moment. And we've got Lucy, who's come back to the park to go and have a look at the otters. Oh, there's a mistake there. Right, I better fix that as well. I will make sure to do that. So, we've got the machine that's broken. The mechanic is just fixing that now. And we've got some vet research done. The warthogs, they're very almost finished. Fantastic. So, only one more level on them. And then we can put them on something else. Now, before we start building today's enclosure, let's do our usual and let's go and do a quick welfare check on all the animals. Let's make sure they're all okay before we start building. We've got plenty of money in the bank right now, so I'm not too concerned about that. Where are the peafowl babies? I know we've got quite a few. Oh, there's one! I believe we've got about four peafowl babies already. They breed so, so quickly. And I think we're going to have to look at putting some contraceptives in place. Otherwise, we're just going to get completely overrun by them. But, right, let's have a quick look on the warthogs. I want to make sure that everyone is okay first. So we'll swap that camera mode back to the normal one. And let's, that's the bush. I do that every single time. Right, oh, they're doing fantastic. 85% welfare. They're doing so well. Oh, and the vet research is done. Oh, amazing. Right, the warthogs are finished. Right, Jonathan, get on the peafowls, please. Good boy. Jonathan is amazing. He is the best worker in the entire world. He is going to be with us this entire series. Jonathan and Bertha will never leave us. 
Right, let's have a look at the otters. I'm not sure how many we have got right now. Let's select this one because it's asleep. So it'll be nice and easy to select rather than trying to get one that's running around. 91% welfare. They are doing fantastic as well. And let's have a look at the wolves. I think this is Oliver, isn't it? The male wolf that we put in in the last episode. It is Oliver. So 90% welfare on him. They are doing really well. How many wolves are we up to now? Because I believe they have also been breeding as I was building. Yeah, we are back up to six again. And we've got another wolf pup, so... Is that Phylan? I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, look, they're so cute. Oh, I love the wolf pup so much. And we also had to trade one of the crocodiles out. As the second it aged up, they started fighting. So I traded one of them out. And I just need to have a quick check to make sure that none of the others are about to age up. Just before we start building. So we've got the six in here. We've got the two adults. And we've got the four babies. So we'll keep an eye on them. And as soon as one of them ages up, we'll have to trade them straight out of the zoo. To bring in them sweet dollar dollar bills. Or even conservation points. I'm not sure what we'll do at the moment. And finally, let's just have a quick look at the snakes because we don't do that very often. I've also now changed this because you can have five snakes in here. So I've changed this so we can have two males and two females at any one time. And I've also changed it so the lowest appeal will always be traded out of the zoo first. So that means that these should never run out. And the appeal will only continue to increase. So the four snakes that we'll have in there will continue to increase and increase and increase in appeal. Which means that we'll be getting more money and more conservation points every single time they are traded out of the zoo. But this is where we're going to put the prairie dog enclosure. And for this video I'm actually going to show everything that I do. We'll do it all in a time lapse. There's going to be lots of time lapses in this video. We haven't done many for the last few, so I'm going to make up for it in this one and I'm going to show everything that we do. So we'll put the gate just back here. I've dropped the ground down a little bit because I want a bit of an elevated shot where the guests can look over. So let's get this done, shall we? Using the terrain tool, I'm just ensuring that the prairie dogs and the keepers can all access that lower area, as the second they are put into this enclosure through that gate, they're not going to be able to get down. What is seemingly becoming my go-to technique in this game, we're going to put down loads of rocks as the border. I'm not sure why I always default back to rocks, but I think it gives such a good effect. So we're going to go around this enclosure just putting rocks all the way around the outside to act as the border. I decided I didn't like how much it stepped down, so I decided to level it out just a little bit and I started putting rocks along the bottom, but then realised I didn't want to do that quite yet. I need to ensure that the guests are going to be able to see first. So after fighting with a path for a couple of minutes to try and get that in place, we've got that down and we're going to copy this piece over and then we're going to adjust it to make it unique for this enclosure. By actually keeping the entire time lapse in this video, you can see just how much I faff around when I am building. I really do go through everything and I change my mind so frequently with what I do.
because I haven't done it in ages and it seems obligatory to do it if you are a content creator, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you are new as it does really help the channel out. And that's my one, probably for the next five episodes or so. What I'm trying to do now is I would really like to have an open viewing area of the prairie dogs, but not have the guests throwing food into the enclosure. So having a really low down barrier and then using this mesh going across the top, that should prevent them from throwing anything into their environment. It's now a race against time as I try and get this border finished before all of the prairie dogs get into the enclosure as I've already set them to come in and I hadn't finished the border yet but luckily we finished just in time and look how tiny they are can I, I, wait there they, they're so fast Right, I had to pause the game just to be able to click it. Right, their welfare is not too bad straight away. Of course, we're going to need enrichment items down. We're going to need to put all the foliage down and their food and water. All of the usual stuff that we're going to need to do. But it looks straight away like they cannot escape. So straight away, we're off to a better start than we were with the otters. So let's sort this paint tool out. They want a little bit more short grass. And I think we'll reduce the intensity and then we'll just dab it just coming around here. We'll increase the size a little bit and then we'll just dab it ever so lightly around there just to blend it in a little bit. Now, apparently the plant coverage is already 100%. But you know full well that we're going to go absolutely crazy and put way more in regardless. Now, with the prairie dogs, we can use these animal burrows, which will act as a hard shelter. So we don't need to actually build a specific hard shelter. So what we'll do is we'll pop a couple of these down at various intervals throughout the enclosure. I think we'll put three down. We'll put another one just up there. A little bit slanted, but that's fine. We're going to cover that with rocks shortly anyway. We'll pop their food down. And rather than put water down, I think I might try and make a little tiny water feature just inside here. So let's have a quick look. We'll put the enrichment items down first, which we've got unlocked. So we've got the scent marker just over there. And we've also got the sprinkler, which seems to be the enrichment item for every single animal in this game. We'll just pop that back over there. And yeah, rather than put a water trough down, I think we'll look at making this into water right here. So let's have a look. Mm, uh, no, that looks absolutely awful. I do not like that at all. Let's get rid of that. Let's smooth that out a little bit first because that terrain looks hideous. So 
will smooth just over here as well because I think when we put the sprinkler down it adjusted some of the terrain over there will adjust just over there and will smooth out just there as well and maybe just a little bit just around that there we go oh they're so cute aren't they they're adorable and their hard shelter is now 100% fantastic and their terrain is all right I do want to adjust that terrain just a little tiny bit i would like to have a little bit of sand in there but i don't want to mess up that 100 percent that we've got already but i do want to just change it ever so slightly so there we go i think i think that will be okay i think that'll be fine and right let's have a look in here so all of the enrichment that is available to us right now is all down and why is why was that one being boxed I'll have a check of that in a moment, but look at them stats. That is fantastic. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. What is going on? Why are they being taken out? Are they being taken to the vet surgery? Right, so they must have been ill when they came into the park. I really should have put them into the quarantine zone before bringing them straight into the enclosure. So that was my fault. But we'll put down some education things. See, I'm remembering straight away. I'm on the ball with this one. I know I always leave it too late. But this time, we're going to put everything down straight away. So let's pop the boards just down there. And just so it's not conflicting with the rocks. And we'll also put some of these one meter screens just on the meshing just there. Let's try and get that lined up. Yeah, it's not quite right, is it? So we'll just tilt that ever so slightly. There we go. And then back that onto that meshing right there. There, there, there. There, right in the centre. Oh, we had a rotation turned on, I believe. Ah, come on. If we just copy that one straight across, it should be fine. Let's turn the random rotation off. Now, I do know, and I did notice, that this monitor is floating i noticed after the episode so that is now fixed this habitat is on the workshop right now so if you would like to go and get this enclosure you can do and that monitor that is floating has been fixed so we need to put a speaker in thank you ever so much to the people who commented saying that once you've set up a speaker you can actually put it below the ground and it will still work i've gone around the entire zoo and all of the speakers that were in the zoo so far have now all been dropped below the ground so to the people who commented giving me that advice thank you ever so much that was really helpful we're going to put another wind turbine just back here. And I think because we're going to put a natural water feature in this enclosure, we're also going to need a water treatment facility as well. So we'll put that right next to it over here. We'll spin it around a little bit just for bants. And there we go. We'll get the path just placed down there. It looks awful right now. But as always, we're going to cover that up with roof tiles. So don't worry about it for the moment. And now we should be able to set this up. I believe we should be able to put this right to the top. Because I don't think it will conflict with anything. Yeah. That can go all the way to the full 20. Brilliant. And we'll now lower that. So we can't see that at all. Yeah, that's great advice. Thank you ever so much for that. Makes it look so much more clean. And then we'll swap that to the prairie dogs. Jonathan, you will be researching that as soon as you're done with the peafowls. You know what your job is. And we'll swap that to the prairie dogs as well. So the black-tailed prairie dog. There it is. And, oh, it's upside down. Oh, no. Right, okay. We'll delete that one. And we'll rotate this one so it's facing the right way. Whoops. Whoopsie-daisy. My bad. Right, let's rotate that around. Let's turn the angle snap on. And we'll rotate that around. And then we'll copy this monitor over there. And once again, I know it's floating. I do adjust it, don't worry. <laughs> I noticed afterwards. Sometimes after you've finished filming or editing, you realise your mistakes afterwards. And then you kick yourself. But there we go. That is now sorted. So, right. Next thing is the donation bins. Look at me remembering. I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at remembering to put the education down and the donation bins down rather than leaving it for ages. Right, I think two will be enough for this habitat. 
and now comes the fun part this is the bit i always love this is my favorite bit in planet zoo is when we can start doing the plants and foliage this time i'll try and do what they want only so without further ado let's start putting all these down shall we Using these desert rocks, it really does allow you to blend the two colours of the rocks together and saves that monotone colour of that wall. And with the prairie dogs really liking these rocks and this being their set biome rock, it turned out really well. What I'm also going to do, I think, is use some of these inside the enclosure to use as coverings for these burrows. So we'll use some of these small ones and we'll go around the burrows and try and hide them a little bit. I know that at the start of this time lapse, I said I was going to be placing foliage. I got sidetracked, okay? I saw the rocks and thought, let's put some more rocks down because we didn't have enough already. So taking them rocks and just placing them at random intervals around the enclosure, there was no rhyme or reason to it. I just placed them in random places. And then putting the water feature just down there, putting a little bit of rock and then blending some sand in also just to get it all to come together. And then we'll put a couple more rocks around here and then we will start doing the foliage i promise i just get so happy when placing rocks it's like rock simulator right there we go we will now start with the foliage I love using some of the bushes that are in the game and then dropping them below the ground and into the rocks to create these like little tufts of grass. I know there are tufts of grass in the game, but I think some of the bushes give an even better effect. Hold the phone. I got completely sidetracked. We're about to have babies already. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm excited for this. Look how cute they are. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Um, it's run off. Pause the game. They are so quick. Oh, my days. That is so cute. Oh, that's adorable wow that is amazing i love it so much right okay right let's carry on putting some more foliage down shall we I love creating enclosures in this game so much. I'm going to be doing this for so long, building different types of enclosures, because it's just amazing. The variety that we have using the rocks and the foliage, it's just incredible. I'm wondering why the guests weren't coming down there, but it seems to be rectified now. And there we go. We've got our prairie dog enclosure. Where are they all hiding? Oh, look at this one, sat over here by the water sprinkler. 
Let's have a look at their welfare. 71%. That is not too bad at all. And once Jonathan gets researching the enrichment items, that should really help. We've done way too much plant coverage, as always. I just get way too overzealous when it comes to the decorating. What is the matter with you? There is water there, so why... I'm, I'm sure that you will go and drink that in a moment. Try and click the... For crying out loud, I do that every single time. Let's just click the one that sat by the water sprinkler. There we go. I just want to check that they can't escape from anywhere. Look at their traversable area. Yeah, they can get down to the water's edge, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. It's another one of them ideas that I get a rough idea in my head and it actually came out better than what I was envisioning. The guests are saying the tickets are too cheap. I can sort that, don't you worry. There you go, price hike. We'll soon increase the prices of them. And we've got the vet research done. Oh, well done, Jonathan. You've worked so hard. Right, get on them prairie dogs, please. So we've got all of the peacock enrichment. So let's see if we can put anything else down. Let's select one of them. And what other enrichment items do we now have? So we've got the mobile. So I think we'll put that. Where about shall we put that? Will it go over here? Oh, we can put that right next to the hard shelter. So we'll pop that over there. And then we've got the slow feeder. I think we'll go and put that over here. There you go, just there. And that's 87% enrichment. There's no other food enrichment item. Ah, they've got the burrow thing, but obviously we're not gonna use that. But I'm more than happy with that, 87% coverage. I think that will be more than sufficient. Oh, the wolf pup is about to mature which means that we're going to have no more wolf pups in the zoo for the moment. But no concern, I'm sure they will carry on breeding in the not-too-distant future. But there we go. There is another enclosure added to Eden Garden Zoological Park. I hope you've all enjoyed this one. You're going to have to let me know down below in the comments what you all think. Oh, look at them moving all together. They do move in herds. Oh, that is so cute. But anyway, let me know down below in the comments what you all think. Thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. I will be back tomorrow with another episode. I will see you all then. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and see you all tomorrow. Bye!